All right, so cool. How's everybody out there doing today? It is, of course, your boy, Valandis, back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about something truly, truly, truly special and amazing and dope, and that is the Fuji X100 6. Now, I don't even know where to really start, but I'll just start off by saying I've had a lot of time with this camera. I was fortunate enough to know about and use this camera since November, early November of last year. And a couple amazing people from Fuji reached out to me and asked if I wanted to be a part of the release for this new camera. And of course I said, yes. So I guess let's just uh, start there. So they came to Detroit and we made a couple images around Detroit and I was able to use the camera, get a feel for it, get some early first impressions of the camera and just really use it and be immersed in its capabilities. Now, with that being said, I've had this camera since November and I've been using it ever since. And I've taken some photos around Detroit. I've taken it to Costa Rica and I just got back from Tokyo and I brought it with me to Tokyo clearly. So let's take a look at that. All right, cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed making it. But let's just get it started with my opinions and thoughts of the camera. So first and foremost, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful camera. Now I am primarily a 
film photographer. I do a lot of film photography, but that doesn't mean I don't also love doing digital photography. But with film photography, I will say that the design and look of film cameras is one of a one of the big reasons that I use film cameras because of the design and um, how simple they are and how easy it is to change settings and just how straightforward the cameras are. And this camera, the X106, is by far the best looking kind of pocketable or like smaller digital camera, everyday digital camera that I've ever used or have ever, you know, taken out and taken to different countries and different places around Michigan or the United States. This camera is just easy, easy, easy to use and easy to carry around and it doesn't get in the way. And that's one of the big reasons why. I like film photography and that's one of the big reasons why I love this camera. And even though it's small, it still feels like an actual camera, which is good for me because when I shoot or when I'm doing anything, I want to feel like I'm using an actual camera. But what's weird to say that even though it does feel like an actual camera, it doesn't feel like you have to take yourself super serious when using this camera. But at the same time, you can feel like you're taking yourself super serious with this camera. I know a lot of people might feel like certain cameras and the size of them or the weight of them or like what they are capable of doing may uh, limit them to taking certain style of pictures or they might not be able to take the pictures that they are used to taking. Anybody who's used the X100V already knows that that camera was amazing and it was capable of doing anything, whether it was portraits, landscape, studio, Whatever the case may be, that camera was capable of doing everything, and this camera is no different. Now, I'm personally not here to talk about the specs because I'm not a spec-talking person. There's a lot of people who do that a lot better than I do, and a lot of people who are a lot more passionate about that than I am. But with that being said, I will talk about just the four features that I like about this camera that I enjoy personally. One, it has built-in ND filters. My FX3 that I'm filming on right now and the camera that I film all of my videos on, all of my short films, all of my feature films that I'm going to record in the future and just everything doesn't even have built-in ND filters. And this camera's almost I mean, low-key kind of the same size, but um, it's definitely smaller and definitely has more limitations. I can't take this lens off. Well, you get what I'm saying. This camera costs $4,000. This costs like $1,500, has built-in ND filters. It also has IBIS for anybody who cares about that stuff. I'm not really that big of a fan of IBIS or care about IBIS, but I know that some people do and that it is a good feature, especially if you like to take pictures at a slower shutter speed or that is now possible to do so with the IBIS. Also handheld video, if you care about that, you can also use this camera pretty handheld when making videos and it won't be all shaky. Speaking of that, this camera also has 422 10-bit, which is pretty, pretty, pretty amazing when you think about it and you think about the price of this camera. You could also record up to 4K 60 frames per second, which is also another big thing for video people. So you can use this camera and make some pretty decent videos as well. Now I will say, I kind of forgot about the video features of this camera, so I didn't film too many videos, but when I did film some videos, it didn't really resonate with me and I might have to use it a little bit more and use it a little bit more for video, but I do think people who make a lot of content, a lot of travel content maybe, a lot of content for like Instagram Reels or TikToks or whatever the case may be, using the camera in vertical mode with all these features would be pretty, insane and pretty dope. Now for my personal opinions of the camera, I again think it's amazing and I think it's great and I think it's phenomenal. Now I don't know if some people may have been expecting more maybe full frame out of a camera that has never been full frame or never intended to be full frame or if they expected like these features that they see in the FX3 or any of these other kind of hybrid cinema slash photo cameras. I don't know, honestly don't know what anybody was expecting but for Fuji to take what they want to take and take what the people who actually use their cameras on a daily basis, take those things and put it inside of a camera and just make it a lot better is pretty phenomenal to me and I respect it. Just like the X100V, this is a camera that I will be taking out, whether it's to parties, whether it's to play football with my friends, whether it's to my mom's house, whether it's to go hang out with my nephew, whether it's to uh, a graduation, whether it's to brunch or whether it's to wherever I go, this camera is impossible to not take with me everywhere. And for me personally, that's big because I don't always want to feel like every single picture that I take has to be the best picture that I take. Sometimes I just want to take pictures of my cat sitting on the table or I want to take pictures of 
my walk around my neighborhood or I want to take pictures of rocks or trees or whatever the case may be. This camera doesn't make me feel like I'm wasting my time or energy by using this camera to take those pictures. But at the same time, I could take portraits with this camera. I could take this camera and shoot very important things like magazine features or or client work or whatever the case may be. I, I, do, I don't feel like this camera has any limitations, but at the same time, it feels limited in the way that I can use it for quite literally anything, which is, in my opinion, amazing. I haven't used another camera ever. I think that makes me feel that way. Now, do I think the camera is any different or any better than the X100V? For certain reasons, yes. But at the same time, if I'm being honest, it's the same camera with a few more features. But those features are very, very, very important. And I think that um, now that this camera is out, people who weren't able to get the X100V can now get the X100V. And the people who want the X106 can get the X106. And that way, everybody can have the camera, which I think is important because within photography, there's a lot of gatekeeping. There's a lot of hierarchy and a lot of elitism and a lot of people who have things that other people don't have. Now, if you want this camera or you want the X100V, you can have whatever camera that you want. And I think that's pretty good and pretty awesome now i do want to thank fuji a lot for bringing me to tokyo and bringing me to the x summit event and just showing me one of the best times that i've ever had in my life while i was out in tokyo i do want to thank them from the bottom of my heart for that that was an amazing and uh, trip i'll remember for the rest of my life everyone was super nice everybody was super inspirational all the people that i've met whether they were photographers or people who just worked at fuji doing whatever everybody was such a great person and just like a joy to be around and i had one of the best times i've think i've ever had in my life again <laughs> I'll, I'll keep saying that fuji was probably one of the only brands not even probably the only brand to actually believe in my style of photography and the things that i shoot and what i stand for when it comes to making photos and images and they've been a, a supporter of that since the well not since the beginning but since they found out who I was and that was years ago so I do want to thank them for always being a part of my journey but anyway yeah that's really all I have to say about the camera I kind of rambled a little bit but it was good rambling I would like to think so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it if you are not subscribed to the channel please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you are already subscribed I'm not talking to you because you already did what you had to do but with that being said I'm gonna get up out of here and I'm gonna go do some shit um, let me know your thoughts and uh, opinions about the camera down below. Are you going to get it? Are you just going to go get the X100 feed? Like what's what's the vibes looking like? You feel me? So let me know. Um, also, if you haven't yet watched my last video, please do me a favor and go watch that because that is one of my favorite videos that I've made in a long time. It's a video poem, which is something I'm going to start doing moving forward. Um, so it's a video poem about missing. So if you haven't yet checked it out, go check it out. I would love that and it would be truly appreciated. But now I'm going to get up out of here and I'm going to go do some shit. I just slept for 14 hours because I am exhausted from Japan. So I'm going to get up out of here and I'm going to go enjoy the United States, Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> ah, Y'all know the vibes, man. Let's get it.